Hey, what's going on boys and girls? Gunna Blazing back at it again. Today I just wanted to quickly talk about what I think the meta will be like after the nerfs hit. And I'm going to be playing a deck that I think will rise out of the ashes once the nerfs hit. So let's discuss these nerfs a little. First of all, Cyber Angels is going to take a big hit because the Kini and Machine Angel Ritual are going to be both on the semi-limited list. And that means between the two of them, you can only have two copies in your deck. Meaning that you can either go 2 Dakini, 0 Machine Angel Ritual, or 1 and 1. I don't think anyone will go 0 Dakini, 2 Machine Angel Ritual. And for those of you that still think you can have 2 Dakini and 2 Machine Angel Ritual, well here's me trying to put in Champion's Vigilance. Only one limited card may be included because I already have Machine Angel Ritual on the list. Therefore, it's for the whole limited pool that this one copy applies. Anyways, I think this is a big hit to Cyber Angels because it loses a lot of its consistency and a lot of plays that were available to them uh, are not available to them anymore. So for example, the ability to use Dakini's effect more than once a game easily is no longer possible if you're running one Dakini and one Machine Angel Ritual because you can no longer revive Dakinis and you have less Dakinis available to make those plays. So you have to be even more cautious because you could easily lose it to a Floodgate or an Econ and keep in mind that you have no more turn 1 or 2 mind scan meaning it's harder to play around those cards you have to do a little guesswork and you have to take risks and then depending on what you cut out you might cut out Machine Angel Ritual uh, you'll lose a lot of consistency and the protection that Machine Angel Ritual brings and without it it gets very awkward because there's going to be those situations where you want to summon Dakini but all you have available to you is a level 4 and a level 6 for example a Senju and your Edithin on board, and you can't pull off a Machine Angel Absolute Ritual with that. So if you don't think that's enough to knock down Cybers by a tier or two, then uh, rip. I don't know what to tell you. And then we got the 3-star Demotion Ninjas, where 3-star uh, Demotion will no longer be viable with Ninjas at all after the nerf, because you can only use it once you hit 1000. So your alternatives are relying on transforming your level 4 Ninjas, so you'll probably pack more of these bad boys. Or you could go the Mausoleum route, whatever it is, it won't nearly be as good as 3-star Demotion. 3-star Demotion provided so much consistency in the sense that as long as you drew one big ninja in your opening hand, you were in a good spot. Best case scenario, Black Dragon Ninja, but even if not, Red Dragon would still be fine if you had the duplication and or the transformation. And all of that was easy to achieve thanks to Notebook and your uh, Art of Alchemy. Now you'll need to work a little harder to get out your big ninjas, and a little goes a long way. Having to use a card to help get out Big Black is nowhere near as good as, you know, just getting out the Big Black when you have him in your hand just by paying 3,000 light points. Black Dragon and Red Dragon are still a couple of the best monster effects in the entire game. It's just that they have a lot less consistency, uh, which is pretty big in terms of win rate, and will likely have to grind it out to win duels rather than just quick wins on turn 2 to 4 with all of the extra attacks they had available early thanks to 3-star Demotion. So what's going to happen? The top two decks are taking a big hit. Which decks are going to be the best after them? So obviously you'll have to take a look at what they brought to the table. Cybers and Ninjas were fast winners. With them nerfed, the meta will slow down. Ninjas were a huge lockdown on the back row and with them nerfed, back row heavy control decks will get a big boost. So I predict that Burn decks, specifically Destiny Draw, Temple Burn, and Controlly Beatdown decks like Dinos, Ancient Gears, and Glad Beasts will become a lot more popular since uh, they could already compete uh, with the top decks while Ninjas and Cybers were out, meaning that they could hold their own and they were potentially the next strongest decks after those two. I also have my eye out for Hazy, both Beatdown and Aroma Strategy variants as well as Ice Barriers, which could be the next dominant quick win cheese. Now with that said, I think that there's this one deck that will be very key in the post-nerf meta, and that's Phoenix. It'll have the back row clearing power to shut down the burn, the ancient gear decks, glad beasts, dinos, while getting out some decently strong monsters. Now all of this is a guess, and it could completely go some other way. We haven't even considered the fact that all the field spell skills can now pop at 1,000 more light points than before, and whatever the new box brings could completely shake things up. By the way, let me talk about this deck real quick and then uh, show you some clips with it. We got a new addition to the Fire King family and that's Fire King Avatar Baron G. And he's another monster that you can special summon if uh, a Fire King monster you control is destroyed by a card effect such as, you know, Fire King clearing the field or Goka uh, when it special summons and destroys a monster. Another neat thing about this card is that it can pull out a Fire King card from your deck the standby phase after was destroyed by a card effect. So you can pull out either your field spell or a Yaksha. Now I decided to roll with restart for the maximum consistency. You could also go with beatdown. Obviously less consistency, but you know, 
You get some more firepower back there. I also added Ryoku since uh, I don't have the usual power that the beatdown variant has. If you're running a uh, beatdown, you might as well replace this with a card of the soul. Now, I did also have Big Cattle Drive in here, but I replaced it with Econ because it wasn't pulling out two cards as, uh, as often as I thought it would, and I don't think it's worth it if it's not doing that. All right, so that's it for the deck. Today, I'm going to be streaming at a different time, trying at a new time, 8, 11 p.m. EST. So be there if you want to see some King of the Skull Servant action. Uh, but besides that, that's pretty much it. So guys, have yourselves a good one. Enjoy the clips and this guns blazing. Signing out. Uh, that's a pretty good starting hand. When are we banning guns in the Discord? Trust me, people have already tried. It didn't really work out for them. Fucking. Okay, so I'm gonna call to the soul work. Out of the soul. And I'm gonna make a genius play here. I'm gonna make a play no one's ever seen before, and that's uh, I'm not even gonna play a monster after because if I set or summon a monster, I'm putting a token on that ancient gear castle, and he could potentially get his golem out, and I don't want that. Baron G. I mean, is it worth risking it? He only has one card in hand. Hmm. Thinking emoji. Nah, I'm just gonna end my turn. I don't care. He, he doesn't have lethal. No way he has lethal. In before rare metal Maggio. <laughs> oh. The Electro. The Electro is a Rectro. <laughs> We good. We good, boy. Ooh, Sphere of Bola coming through. I'm gonna need that. And this is, uh, why did? Why would I summon the defense mode? Aren't you glad you're not using Glad Beast? Sick name, bro. Hmm. All right. Oh, combos are available. Plays are available right now, my dude. Plays are of Veilagio right now. Let me eat up my own yacht. Let me eat up my own guy real quick. <laughs> Suck him up. And then that allows me to special summon Baron G right here. Oh, sorry, I didn't update the deck list. My bad. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Got you. Why is Guns playing the competitive deck? See, people will question me whether I'm playing competitive or meme decks or YouTube decks. See, this guy's scooping. He's out. He's outy. 1300 attack without cast. <laughs> Sick meme, lad. I didn't have a Phoenix. Ooh, and I understand though. <laughs> And on this hand. I draw. Oh. It's a hand OD dando. And best play is believe it or not, sack activates. Phoenix. And pick up Baron G. Uh and yeah, playing Baron G is not too bad, because he'll get me another thing in two turns. Could also go with Vortex Trooper. This is actually a tough decision for me. I'm gonna go with Baron G. I'm gonna push some damage. Dude, when he gets destroyed by uh wait, I could have gone for lethal, but no. Probably too greedy. He does have a back row, I think he can protect him. I'll take the 18 to the nutsack. Good. Take an IQ test, lol. Okay. Interesting. Oh, Baron G's out. 
let me wipe my own board clean. We get this Baron G popping. Holy moly, that's busted. Let me see if I can summon Yasha too. No, I can't. Dude. This is crazy. This is too busted! Look at the synergy look at look at the synergy you see right now. I can pop Yaksha too. Destroy the Vortex Trooper in my Oh! oh. You don't get synergy from that with just anything, dude. Holy moly. See here's here's the reasoning behind Rear Yoki. You have restart so you don't have beatdown. You need a way to get over stuff like Black Dragon Ninja. Cyber Angel Dakini, and it usually, like Phoenix clears a back row, so you're gonna have a, you're gonna have a shot at with Ryoku. That's why Ryoku's in this deck. Sando Dando. The hand oh dando. Baron G. Set trooper. And what he allows me to do is, uh, it's called. Whether he attacks into it or not. Phoenix will come back, wipe the board, and then it'll draw me a card. Uh, you got King of Games day one. Sure you did. Kappa. Ooh, I didn't expect that one. See, whether he attacked or not, it doesn't matter. Because this pops. I baited him out. I made him think I, I set a Fire King avatar. But I didn't. You see what I did there? Right, now I just go Baron G. And Goka! Oh, baby. Combo's getting me hard. But it would have been better if I picked up the Aksha, because I would have been able to destroy my second Phoenix. Sucks to be me. Sucks to suck. Benefits, benefits, benefits. Look at that plus one out of nowhere, dude. Setting monsters now. My monsters attack. He can escape. No, my monsters attack. Activate. My monsters attack. Activate. Watch this. He can escape my wrath. Let me eat myself up real quick. Hey, what's up, Adrian? Watch right, this. We got it. Get in those jeans, baby. See you later, Electro. Spicy artworks. See, this is what happens when I don't play mean decks. Just straight slap ups every two seconds. Yeah, it's pretty much pot of greed. What do you mean? My webcam's still there, bro. The hero heat. Oh, he's bringing the heat, dude. I got a spice here, play. Got a spicy one for him. Picked up the Fire King, so I'm gonna pop it. <laughs> I'm 
Nah, he was level 31 last time you asked that. Don't give me that nonsense. Don't give me that nonsense, boy. I'm gonna set Yaksha. I don't need to summon him. Nor do I need to get aggressive with it. Oh, this guy's ballsy, dude. This guy threw down another face down. After just seeing my Phoenix hit the grave, he's gonna throw... And he's gonna go for the attack? I'm not, I'm not gonna argue with that. No, sir. I'm gonna get my second Phoenix popping, baby. Gunsy, think Big Cattle Drive is worth it. Bro, it's like the only ultra rare that's worth picking up with a UR ticket. Spoken in silence, blazing like sirens. I can bring you out of the darkness into the fiery light.